the old sharper image versus the new sharper image as we're trying to not make horrible products. This episode of Boing Boing is made possible by WePC.com. People come to Vegas for a lot of different things. We come here for electronics. Let's go check it out. We're Boing Boing and we're at CES. Welcome. I'm Shani Jardin. This is Joel Johnson. Hi. And Rob Biskitsa. Hi. So we're here at the Consumer Electronics Show 2009. Why are we here, Joel? We're here to find weird things that other people haven't found, which is impossible, but we're going to try it anyway. Rob? Cheap scotch. All the scotch we can find. Oh, wait. Hors d'oeuvres. Finger oh, food? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thanks. Hi. How's it going? Great. It's going absolutely fast. And, and tell me who you are. I am Gary Shapiro. I'm president and CEO of the Consumer Electronics Association. We're the group that owns and produces the international CES. This is a trade show where all the competitors get together in one place and that allows everyone to see what's best, what's most innovative, what has the best price. I know you already have an official blog partner of uh, CES this year, uh, but I was wondering, could you make me officially the king of CES? Just, just this year is fine and it, next year it could be somebody else. You are officially the king of CES. That's all we need. Bow to me. All right. This is the EPC T101H, and it's very much like the the netbooks that we've been seeing for the last few uh, months. Uh, but it's got a few cute new features. First, it has this very fashionable keyboard, which we've seen on more expensive computers like the Vio TT and the MacBook Air. But the most distinctive thing is that it's a tablet. It has a, a display that swivels and then folds down uh, so that you can use a stylus uh, and, and take it with you and do tablety things with it. All right. Hey, talk to me about the spy ball. That's what I want to know about. What you can do is hook it up to your home network or uh, video game console, chase around some pets, little sister, spy on your parents. Um, it is a ball hence the name, and uh, it can roll around quite quickly, and then once you prompt it to pop open, it'll actually um, turn into a spy cam, sort of like that. Do you think it's kind of weird to make like things that kids can spy on people with? Are you promoting a closed-circuit closed TV uh, no, no, no. thing? Human, human nature. Um, you know, I, I don't think the company has an official stance on, on spying versus non-spying. Can, can I try one of this? Well, we Love Cubs launched last year, but there's four new species this year. Okay. And what do they do besides be creepy? Cute. I mean cute. Right. Wait, it is creepy. Depending on how you play with it, it will react. So um, if you're a little rough with it, it might growl at you because it does have a tilt. You get the kids a spy ball so they can go snoop on, uh, you know, little girls. And then, then they have robots that teach you how to touch them. I think that's, I know it's admirable. I, I'm getting it. The internet culture we're all part of wouldn't be possible without the evolution of personal computers. Asus and Intel want to hear your ideas for what's next. Come join us in making the world's first community-designed laptop at WePC.com. You guys bought the Sharper Image brand. We actually have the Sharper Image license for eight key categories. One of the key categories uh, is electronics. So we're going to be launching 24 new items at the show. What what other items would you be selling that aren't electronics? Um, for instance, we all, we'll have the license for health and wellness, which encompasses massage, uh, concierge products, which encompasses like Garmin steamers and things like that. So basically, it sounds like you guys are going to sell all the stuff that the Sharper Image used to sell. Exactly, but I think what, what's going to be different versus uh, the old Sharper image versus the new Sharper image is we're trying to... Not make horrible products? 
We're going to make great products, but we're also going to deliver on an experience. Okay. What does that mean? That because that sounds like nothing. Well, you know what? What it means is that you know you're going to find products that are affordable. Tell me one product that the new sharper image is going to do that's going to like completely knock my socks off and be like, that's yep, they're back. They're going to do cool stuff. Yeah, a lot of these products we haven't even have names on them yet, but we're still developing. I would call that one an iPhone dock. You would. Okay, that's actually it's a good, good brand, right? Exactly. Right. I'm going to call it a motorized iPod. Uh, okay. So what this item is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to watch your videos. Okay? In either aspect ratio. In, a, in either aspect ratio. But it's also a dock, so you can also listen to your music and things like that. All right. This item, okay. Right. Looks like every other iPod dock I've ever seen in my life. Go on. Okay. What makes this item unique is that it's going to be a hardwood speaker. The sound quality is good. Amazing. Sharper Image broke my heart for years and years and years Sorry. because... They just, they just crapped on everything. It was such a good store for a while, and then it just completely went down. They so. didn't deliver on the experience for you. Right, so to do that. Whatever that means, deliver on the experience, which still means absolutely nothing to me, but like, okay. <laughs> make good products, and we'll be happy with these. There's some sort of thing. Here, hold on. I would, hold my booze. I'm going in. It's a power mat, quick energy, sugar-free, vitamin supplement. Okay, let's see. Okay, we're reviewing a Scotch and Power Mat Power Energy Drink. The, the Scotch and Swag. <laughs> and? It's better than it has any right to be, but it's still right, quite revolting. That's gross, dude. <laughs> there's, like, there's, no, there's no not bad about it. That's really gross, yeah. Rob, I'm overwhelmed and it's only day one. This is CES Unveiled, the night before the show begins, and we're already exhausted. But at least the beige lighting is pleasantly muted, and there's not too much going on, and we have our whiskey. We'll see you tomorrow.